<laughs> Hilarious. Bridget. Well, Mr. Science Guy himself, Bill Nye, thank you for joining us. It's so good to be here. All right, so your new show on Netflix, Bill Nye Saves the World. Yes. Quite the title. No pressure, right? No, it's almost a half hour. That's enough time, isn't it? Save the entire world. There's 13 of them. Uh, turn it, watch them all. Turn it up loud. Binge it. So why does the world need Bill Nye to save it now? Uh, so, <laughs> need. Uh, it, is, uh, it is to be hoped that we can make the world better by, with a television show. Now, I'm not joking. Well, I, That's why we're doing it. I was a big fan of your show growing up. I mean, you made science cool and fun it is. and smart. Yes. And, it, and you inspired an entire generation. But this is 20 years or so later, and you're back. Yes. So what is your approach differently this time around? Well, who are for, you doing this for? It's for older people, and the topics are um, not cut and dried. So it is. we do vaccinations, climate change, and video games? Do video games, are, are they addictive? Do they rot your brain or do they actually make you think better? Or do you become a better surgeon by playing a video game about surgery? Apparently you do. And so it's very exciting uh, to be back. And we, I, am hoping to get people to have a scientific perspective about issues facing our society. I feel like that's kind of a, an important mission now when you have so much going on with people maybe. Denying science? Um, you could put it that way. Yes. Yeah, so like, like, is there something happening now? Is there something that, that you're kind of trying to address in this show? Well, this is our mission, is to uh, enlighten people. I don't think this will last, the anti-science thing. And the big example right now is climate change. And the people who, in this case, of climate deniers are almost all old. There's very few young climate change deniers. So these people are going to age out. Are we going to replace them with enlightened people who want to do something about climate change fast enough? Well, let's make a TV show about it, doggone it. <laughs> what can we do to help save the world? So vote is what I always say, vote. But we need big ideas. I mean, huge, huge ideas. We need huge wind turbines. We need uh, photovoltaic panels everywhere. And we need to reconfigure our electrical grid to handle a distributed power generation system rather than concentrated. But we can do all that. Let's go. There's a lot of big problems out there. What do you think is the biggest right now? And There's three things we want for everybody in the world. Clean water reliable, renewably produced electricity, and access to the internet, or whatever the future of the internet is called. And then if we can provide clean water to uh, rural populations, in general, they will have, be able to grow food. If you can provide electricity, they'll be able to grow food efficiently. And then if you can provide the internet, this will enable everybody to get educated, especially girls and women. When you raise the standard of living of girls and women through education, they have fewer kids, and the kids they do have have more resources, so they are more successful, and everyone benefits. This is all good. Let's get her done, people.